I'm delighted to be speaking with Roland Hanacroot, author of The Ten Truths for Raising a Healthy, Bouncy Business. Hello, Roland. Hi, Robert. Now, look, we we're going we're to talk today about business plans. Mm. And in your book, you cite a delightfully short, succinct example of a business plan. Mm. And um, I personally think that a lot of uh, the reason that a number of businesses never quite get it together with the business plan is it's a bit too daunting. So yes. yeah. what, what is this example that you talk about and what can we learn from it? Oh, he's a friend of mine. Uh, he's a paint. He runs a painting company. Yeah. And um, he's got... He's got the most fantastic business plan I've ever seen. Right. And it's got, I think, six words on it. All right. Um, and, and it works. It just does exactly what a business plan needs to do because it gives him direction and focus and, and everything he needs in the business. And there's three lines. The first line is local. The second line is buy the book. And the third line is charge enough to be able to do it by the book. Is it local? Buy the books. In other words, do it by the book. Do it by the book. Okay. Do it by the book safely and, and do the right Sure. Okay, and what was the third one? Charge enough to be able to do it by the book. Okay, charge enough. Okay. So what you're saying is he uses that as his kind of business plan, as his yeah. mantra almost, and yeah. every relationship he gets into has to kind of go through that little yeah. one, two, three kind of slot. Yeah. So how, how does a business um, distill potentially a lot more than that down to this kind of nugget. How do we do that? I'll, I'll stay with his example. Yeah, sure, um, um, uh, yeah he, he's, um, he's turned a whole wall in his, uh, in his office over to a mind map and it's just, and he said he's constantly mind mapping that sort of stuff and, okay. that, and uh, he's done that for years uh, and, and then that pops out. If you do, I think I the secret of just get of the, your ideas down in one place. That's right, it's, and, 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 yeah. and you've got to, like I often say, business plans have, have to be documents or things that have coffee stains all over them and, right, and, yeah. and scribbles in the margins and stuff like that. It's so about it's not some beautiful spiral bound thing that sits in the filing not. cabinet. It's useless, yeah. completely yeah. pointless exercise. A waste yeah. of anybody, everybody's time. Much better right. off to go and sit on the beach. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just making this constantly thinking about it, constantly yeah. li ma making it alive for you, having. Um, Having it sitting and scribbling on it, and, and yellow stickies, and okay. um, you know, and so very visual is what I'm hearing, and something that is a living, breathing thing. Living and breathing. That's yeah. the that's the okay. whole thing. That's not the kind of business plan that you would take to a bank. No, no. Because, but that's a different kettle no, of fish. But it's the it kind is. of business plan that will make you leap out of bed in the morning and, exactly, and yeah. kind of run your business. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So throughout your book, I know you go through ten of the truths and. And you give a lot of case histories in those. Mm. Are, you, are you finding that, um, is your book being well received? Do you find yeah, that? Yeah, people yeah, people are loving okay. it. I mean, it's Good. one of the things that people really like about it, that it is so, so just the essence. It's, yeah. Um, so you don't have to, yeah, if you're not, if you're a, well, as I say, um, mm. it, it's written for people who do stuff rather than, um, than, than read for about it. For people who do stuff. Okay, well, look, Roland, thank you so much again for joining us for this Pleasure. brief interview. If you want to find out more about you, the10truths.com.au. Perfect. Great. Thank you. Thank you.